Hey guys, I'm Prithviraj from PR75K and if you have seen that video by Sam Colder called My Year 2016, then you might be familiar with this drawing effect. So in this video, I'll show you how you can do that on Adobe Premiere Pro quite easily. By the way, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. You can get some behind the scenes and other fun stuff over there. And also you can DM me if you have any queries. The link will be given in the description below. So I have imported my footages over here. This one is that drawing part. And this one is the hyperlapse part. So firstly, let's find a still frame of the Taj Mahal, which has least amount of disturbances. So take the razor tool and just make a cut over here. Press the right arrow key once and make another cut again. Right click on it, go to this option called frame hold options and just hit on OK, make sure that hold on is checked over here. We got our frame freezed over here. And now place it above the drawing layer. Now go to FX control and decrease the opacity of this one of the original video. Now we just have to mask out the Taj Mahal from it. So hit on this rectangle tool and you'll get the selection over here. So once you have selected the mask, then just make the opacity back to normal. Now we just have to add Luma Fade on it. I won't be using any third party presets, I'll be using the default once you get in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now what I like to do is just create a nest over here of this one, the above layer only. This is because when I will apply the preset of the Luma Fade, then I have to scroll down a lot among so many presets from the marks and all. That's why I just nest it for my own convenience. You can do this if you want to or else nah, leave. Now go to your FX rack and search for gradient wipe. Drag and drop on the original clip. Now go to the starting point where you want the gradient to start. And it should be zero over there. Let it be that way. Just click on this stopwatch icon so that the keying is enabled. Now at the end of it, just make it 100. I suggest you to nest this part so that you don't have any problems playing with it again. Now let me place the hyperlapse beside it. I am using a default transition which I have in Adobe Premiere. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if this video helped because I'll be uploading more such videos like this. And also don't forget to hit the like button and I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, hasta la vista.